Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeroen. One of my awesome subscribers gave me the idea of doing a video comparing the Claymore and Bouncing Betty since they kind of have the same role. It's an object, an explosive, sorry, that you place on the ground that is supposed to protect an area and watch your flank most of the time. So today I will be comparing both of them. First off, let's start with the stats. So the Bouncing Betty has a minimum explosion of 70, a maximum explosion of 100, and a blast radius of 6.5. However, you must remember that the Bouncing Betty is a 360 degrees explosive device. Just keep that in mind during the whole video. Now let's check the stats of the Claymore. It has a minimum explosion of 50, a maximum explosion of 200, and a blast radius of 6.5, exactly like the Bouncing Betty. However, the blast radius is only on the frontal arc. You remember that. So by comparing these stats, you cannot really ar arrive to a good conclusion because they kind of differ, but they're, they aren't really that much different. The, the Claymore has a double maximum explosion, but it has a smaller minimum explosion. So that's why I decided to go in a private match and really test them out and see what really happens and which one is the best one. So let's check out that right now. So I decided to start with the uh, Bouncing Betty. So I decided to put it around a corner like most players would put it. And then I told my friend to run around the corner and let's just check what is going to happen. It kills him. He's running and it kills him. After that, I decided to do the same thing. Put the bouncing bed at the same spot and make my friend run exactly the same place. However, this time he has Blast Shield Pro, which reduces a 45% the damage from explosion. So let's check what happens. It doesn't kill him because it, it's kind of normal. If you cut by 45%, the max explosion of a Betty, it will still not kill the player. Now I tested it with a Claymore. I, the, ex the exact same thing, I put it at the same place and check what happens. The time delay to explode is, is enormous to be honest. That's the biggest problem of the Claymore. It's that it takes so much time to actually explode, to detonate. Also, it only kills in a frontal arc and not 360 degrees like the Bouncing Betty. Here I decided to just put it straight. My friend is gonna just run straight normal and it still won't even damage him one bit. So basically my conclusion, it's really simple. By far the Bouncing Betty is better. It has a max explosion of 100 that can of course kill you because we all have a 100 life. Minimum explosion of 70 which is better than the Claymore. It explodes 360 degrees and it triggers fast. Some of you guys will say that um, you can like go prone to not get killed by the Bouncing Betty, but who in the world has fast enough reflexes to do that? Like seriously. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could hit that like button if you learned something and if I helped you. Thanks so much once again. Peace out guys.